Okay, hello everyone. This is Sarah here. Today I'm going to be building a kind of kitchen. It's a room build. So it's a kitchen kind of slash bar thing. And first off, before we get too much farther in the video, I apologized for, sorry, I apologize for the, um, I guess, uh, lack of ability to rotate the screen correctly. Um, I've been using Sims 4 on a laptop for several years and so now I've just gotten a desktop computer and so I'm trying to adjust to keyboards controls and having a mouse that can actually like use good rotating abilities. So that's why the camera movements might not be the best so apologies for that. Anyway, okay, so it's a fairly large inside size in terms of, if I could talk, in terms of rooms, it's a fairly large kitchen, I guess. Um, it does have a bar and a little dining area and everything. And he, right here, I was having issues with the windows. I don't know if anybody else has ever had this issue, but, like, I'd pick a window and then it would, like, randomly show up on a whole bunch of different sides of the walls. And... I was like, what is going on? And so eventually I was just like, want well, something, whatever, forget this, moving on. So I think later I do go back and put windows in. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I do. Anyway, cabinets. Cabinets, I had, I, I had a lot of issues with cabinets. I couldn't decide what colors I wanted. And first and foremost, I do a lot of my designing and things out of order. So... I have a tendency to not necessarily pick like wall patterns and floor patterns right off the bat. I kind of design the room and then we'll kind of put in items that I know I want to put in. And from there, it just kind of becomes something. Like when I started this out, I wasn't, I knew I wanted to do a kitchen and a fairly large kitchen. And I knew I wanted an island that was like key part man island. And other than that though, I didn't really know what I wanted. So I kind of was just kind of messing around. And a lot of times I'll build something and I will kind of change how the room looks as I go along to add more items. Uh, a lot of times I'll kind of create the room and like morph it to fit the items. I not, I'm not always a like strict like, okay, this is how the room is going to be and how it's always going to be. It might change <clears throat> completely by the time we get done. So meh. anyway... So, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what the layout of the kitchen looks like. The, I think the cabinets change in the color. Yeah, the cabinets are changing. So, other than that, though, that's pretty much the layout. A pretty simple layout, in all honesty. Fairly large layout. But I wanted to leave lots of room, like, in between the island and the counter. Because a lot of times I'll be playing and I'll, I, I won't leave a lot of room in between like the back counters and the island area and so it'll be like only one sim can fit back there and not, and not so much an issue in sims 4 but in sims 3 my sims would get stuck or I would try to multitask because I'm a little bit of a micromanager player so we'd run into issues so I decided to go with like a really big kind of open design everything like that and fun idea like um I kind of designed the kitchen to be placed like as a room it could kind of be placed either on the outside of your house or kind of in the middle because it does have a um a door at one end but uh do you see that other diagonal um one that's right next to the coffee maker that di diagonal wall there it'd be really cool to put a um uh what's it called the thing, thing with the open door. It'd be cool to put another door there. I can't think of the word. I'll think of it like in an hour and be like, that's what it was. Anyway, and I, I wasn't sure if I could put those kinds of doors in and they still be uploaded to the gallery and everything. So I guess I'll find that out and then that will influence future builds. Anyway, so yeah, I decided to go with, in the end, the very black and white scheme and kitchens I kind of find are... I find are kind of difficult to, especially for me, to like color because in Sims 4 there's not necessarily a ton of options that look good together. Like they have several color choices, but not a lot of them necessarily look good. And I don't necessarily like the color of the countertops with the bottom color. And then 
I'm just, I'm just kind of picky that way. Ugh. <laughs> So I ended up going with black and white, and I decided to use pink, which isn't a color I normally used. I keep it pink. I think I keep it pink. But I just, I wanted some, like, sub light colors that sort of popped, but I didn't want to use, like, bright red or, like, blue or something or something really bright. I wanted to kind of, like, subtle colors because I didn't want it to be super loud in terms of color, even though the black and white are pretty loud colors, I guess I wanted the other colors to not be super loud. So um, overall, it's a pretty subdued splash of color, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to be all fancy with all art terms and things. And eh. yeah. And rug-wise, I really wanted to fit a rug in because I was trying to figure out what to put there because... Origin I was kind of going through my head. It was like, I had this big empty space. What would you even put there? And because I didn't want to like cut into the room and make it really weird shaped. I wanted to keep it big and open, but I was unsure of what exactly to do. So I, I ended up doing like a kind of bar thing, but that comes later. But yeah, as you see here now, I'm doing the floor and I'm do I do the walls? I eventually do the walls, but sometimes it takes me a while and sometimes I even forget because to me the priority <laughs> is often on like items and like placing items and things like that. So sometimes I forget things like walls and floors are important. <laughs> oh, and here I decided I wanted to make things look a little bit more cluttered and lived in. And so I decided to put like shelves up top and like everything. And here's my inability to move the camera because I don't I haven't played with a desktop computer in years and <laughs> so I wasn't quite sure about everything but I eventually figured it out you know the first couple builds will be a little bit more rocky but after that I gotta figure it out but I wanted anyway I wanted to put things on top of the shelving on top of the shelving on top of the counters because I cabinets I'm gonna get the word eventually I wanted to put more stuff make it more lived in and I figured that's kind of how I'd bring in more colors more just kind of stuff because right now it looks very barren and very like a show house and I didn't really want it to look like a show house and I had this really cool idea I thought about doing it but then I decided I had too many shelves in the room anyway was would be to like put shelves all the way up um that wall and that's a really cool idea if you got if anybody but if anybody wants to do that so but in the end I just I think I went with like a giant plant or something and yeah so anyway but yeah, and then having it <laughs> trying to remember how to do things because a lot of times on my laptop I just didn't go through the trouble of doing spacey uh, move objects and like moving them up and down and scaling them up and everything because it was way more hassle than it was worth on the laptop so a lot of times it was just kind of like meh <laughs> so now that I have a desktop computer it's like oh I can do all these things so that's kind of one of the reasons I'm doing gaming stuff and different videos and things like that but anyway I also have a tendency when I build I kind of go through the catalog and look for different items that I like and think will fit and then I'll kind of put them all on the counters and then or the floor and then move them to where I want them to be and a lot of times I will end up with like an overabundance of stuff but I eventually figure it all out <sighs> And because a lot of times I'll like look th through the catalog and like the first time I go through, I won't find all that I want. And like the third go around, I'll be like, oh, that's the item I was looking for. And then boom, found it. But then before I would have already gone through the pla trouble of placing it and all that stuff. And it's like, do I really want to do that? And most of the time I don't want to put up the effort, so I don't. But I'm trying, to, I think my goal is to try to make my builds look more lived in, more clutter oriented, stuff like that use more move objects and things like that. And I was kind of trying to look for like little trinkets and things to put up there that you might find in a kitchen. And honestly, okay, I don't have all the packs for Sims 4 because they're expensive and I don't necessarily have a ton of money. So I have like some of the big packs that I thought I would enjoy and things like that. So I don't necessarily have like, I don't think I have any of the stuff packs because to me, the stuff packs are a good idea, but a lot of times, to me, it just doesn't justifiable to pay 10 bucks for some of the stuff. And anyway, I could go on a whole rant about that. Anyway, so I don't have a lot of the stuff packs, 
and just kind of packs in general. So what ends up happening is I don't quite have everything. So it's kind of harder for me to find items that I necessarily like, especially kitchen items, because there's not necessarily a lot that's not like repeated, I guess you could say. Like there's that really cool water pot thing, water planter thing with flowers in it, but there's two of them. I don't really want to put two of them in there. And like, I don't know, I was trying to find like splashes of color and things like that. And plants are a good way to do that, but it just, sometimes it works and yeah, I just, I don't know. It's difficult. Cluttering is a lot harder. Cluttering up a room is a lot harder than you think it would be because you kind of have these ideas of like what you want it to look like. And it, in Sims 4, it's kind of harder to do it. And like you could always add like um, custom objects and things like that. But I don't know. It's just harder sometimes. I just, I think Sims 3 had some great moments, had a lot more options. And I don't know. I think it's because there's a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily match in Sims 4. Like windows, there aren't a lot of windows that match, a lot of doors that really match each other. Uh, don't even get me started on lights. I, I don't know. It's just options. There's just not a lot. So, and, if, and like, of course, if you get more stuff packs, it all works out. You get more stuff, obviously. But I don't know. Sims 3, I was really into custom objects. So <laughs> that was my life. Anyway, so I was trying to decide a painting. Probably should get back to the room. <laughs> I was trying to decide on a painting to put there. And I was just, I really didn't know what to do with that giant amount of space. It was like, this is a ton of space. You could fit like, if you extended the room, you could put like a little dining room area. But I didn't want to do that because I already had like the little, I already had like the Eden Island area and I had the little seating area and I didn't want to divulge into putting an entire dining room in there because honestly, I want to make it a separate room, more like a formal dining room than like a breakfast bar-ish kind of thing so but yeah and then we have lighting and that was fun I like okay sims 4 lighting engine is great but i'm not necessarily a massive fan of a ton of their lights i once again the whole you have, get more stuff packs you get more stuff so like there are a couple stuff packs that i want to get and everything so hopefully in the future but in the end, those little um, wooden things, um, wooden painting wall things, I decided to go with white because since I made the walls so dark, I decided to just, it needed a little bit lighter and it was kind of blending into the wall. And the reason I decided to go with like kind of dark um, floors and dark walls was, I know like a lot of times kitchens, you normally see, have them be like lighter, lighter cabinets, things like that. But I just... I don't know, I felt like it all worked out. I kind of had a little bit of trouble figuring out a wall pattern, but I felt like this one worked out. So I'm kind of like, my problem is for wallpapers, I kind of like default to like three of them and that's it. And after that, it's like, okay, well, I need to try to branch out. And it's like, I don't like any of these other ones. So I was trying to branch out and do other things. And I do like this wall pattern. Um, it's just some of the other ones. And see, here I am adjusting the room because I didn't like how it was and I felt like there was a lot of extra space. So I tried to make it a little bit more cozy, but like, honestly, I just wanted that wall, that door to be on a diagonal wall. I, I don't know why I thought it added a little bit more dimension to the space. It added a little bit more depth instead of just being a big cookie cutter room. It has that diagonal there and then it has the cutout for the bar and then it has another um, diagonal with a massive window to eat at, things like that. It, it's not just a straight square kitchen room because I feel like a lot of times when I, when people build, you kind of get stuck doing like square kitchens because it's really easy to do square kitchens because you have cabinets and things like that. And so you just kind of naturally build off of a square. And sometimes it's kind of difficult to actually like do different details and things like that. But anyway, so I decided to go with this fun kind of layout. Yeah, this is the final layout, what it actually ends up looking. Or pretty similar anyway. But yeah. So anyway, um, 
I think we're coming up to the screenshots and yep, there they are. Okay, and I will apologize for this. I forgot to take off the grid. I'm not used to taking screenshots and I was like, whoop. And I think there's like one other build where I didn't do, I didn't take off the grid anyway. And I'm trying to remember, I promise I'll do better. <laughs> um, so that's just kind of real quick little screenshots what they look like. So I hope you have all have a great day and see you next time. Bye.